welcome back to the second video of my five video series from my recent haul and this video is a themed haul if you can tell i don't know how good you can see them i got cute kitty ears on and that means obviously it's a somewhat cat haul but we also got some bit different not only cats will be appear in this video but also pizzas so I got foxes. <laughs> so let's jump right into it. And first I want to show you one of my prized possessions. It is the very cute second tea time cat by Rebose from the artist uh, Shadow Magic. It's a non-scare figure and it's super super adorable again the packaging is very beautiful it's top tier packaging we have again a cute little tea canister this time a little bit different designed and way easier to open than the first one on two sides you see a little printing where breakfast tea stands with clovers and flowers then we have one side where there's some kind of information distributed with decorate life collection and what purpose this decoration is supposed to be and on the other side there stands how much volume in the tea canister is there's also the pastoral cat so the volume plural one cat and how much the volume of this canister contains and again a very very beautiful prop and on top we put on this very cute deep green cushion where our little cat girl sit on it she fits quite nicely on the cushion and is very secure on it even just like with the first cat we have a very deep dark no, it's a black dress, not, not green, but we have a very cute Lolita style black dress of which the cat girl wears her little cat tail and little cat feetsies, which when you look at her from the bottom, you see her little cat booty and the other paw, again with the cute little toe beans which were painted darker. Her tail has some fur structure and some slight highlights and uh, deepeners overall very nice some nice shadows in the hair her dress is very adorable with all the ruffles bows and other little knickknacks it's quite one-dimensional again we have some cute fish skeletons on her arm sleeves some buttons in front and overall it's a super adorable dress it has not a lot of shading because it's so dark it don't necessarily need them in my opinion then we have a very cute little hands which are so delicately sculpted but the sculpt could be a little bit deeper into her different fingers and it appears a little bit like mesh up Coming to your pigtails, they are done a little bit different. We have some shading in it, some nice sculpt and a very cute bow on front of her bangs as well as a headband with some flowers on the left side and the right side. They are done very nicely but have no shading. Her little cat ears have some fluffy details in the inside. They are very pointy, very nearby each other and sadly you can see the seam lines where the ears were attached to her head and the back is very bland on her head they could have sculpted a little bit more strands of her hair but overall i don't mind she is cute as she is and then we have her very adorable face where you can only see one eye which has an amazing decor which even reflects the light a little bit has a gradient painting in it from a more brown to green color and if you look 
carefully you can see her second eye peeking through a little bit of her bang so there is a second eye decal and overall her expression is solemn and super super cute she gets a 10 out of 10 even with her little flaws because she is such a small figure she's adorable the way she is and oh i nearly forgot the cutest detail ever she comes with a little cat bee the cat bee is magnetic it's magnetic it's so so cute the cat bee is done with so cute details it has its wings its little tail the painting the face this is such a cute little cat bee and it's adorable when you put her next to the first tea time cat she appears to be a little bit smaller which is not really surprising when you see different pictures from star shadow magic who has drawn both cats sometimes next to each other the other one is the older one no this one should be the older one i think the british short hair is the older one. now i'm confused because i don't remember anyway one of the two is the older cat and the other one is the young one and i think from the different cat graces one is bigger than the other I don't remember which one was who. Anyway, she appears way smaller than the first one, which is a shame, but overall, because she sits higher up, it somehow works when you put them together. And I'm so, 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 so happy to have her. Can't wait for number three, which will be in a tea can. And the fourth one will be in a tea cup. And it will look so cute and I can't wait for more tea time cats. They are so adorable. Moving on, I got some merch with a kitty. <laughs> and it's a sticker from B-Side label from Monster Hunter. And it's the Balico on the Palamute. And obviously it's from Monster Hunter Rise and it's an adorable very cute sticker and I'm happy to have this. Moving on to something that matched with my little tea time cat. I got a box and I got this box twice and in this box is a tea set. It's a tea set with a very lovely design. We have the cup and the saucer. They are from the series Prima Dawn and you have probably seen them already put up in my figure organization video and i used it as a prop but actually i wanted to use the cup and saucer really for tea but it works fine for now and they look very very stunning i love the golden details on it and the little cat print in front of it which is i think reminiscent to the prima doll scene I know nothing about Prima Doll, but I fell in love with this cup and saucer. So I had to pay, had to get two. I actually wanted to get three, but only two came back in stock and I snatched them up immediately to get them. Next, I got another very, very cute cat figure for a very amazing and affordable price. And I'm talking about this very adorable Kina Co figure. One six scale by Hobby Sakura, I think. If not, I would probably write it down here anyway. This is so, so cute. First up, she comes with a base. Oh no. Now I did it. I ripped off her. Uh, shucks. I would have loved to destroy his figures herself. She's right now on sale on Ami Ami for a very amazing steal. Price. She is very huge. I can just recommend her. If you like cat girls, she is one of a kind. She comes with two base plates. But let's start from the base, which is designed after a wooden floor. Looks great. Don't need it. Put it back in my box because she sits on a white carpet in my display case. So she's in a sitting position with her legs stretched out. They have amazing detail. The anatomy details are very nice good shading here she has some cute nail polish even though i have to say the separation of her little toe of her toes could be better but it's okay it looks better on her feet side than on top of her feet where you see the nail polish all the little anatomical details are amazing the back of her knees her knees itself all the shading that's done is amazing 
The fingers also have nail polish, they are done very beautifully and overall the, the anatomy that you can see on this figure is stunning and well done. She wears a t-shirt where there's a fish on it and it says sake. She also wears a little collar with her name on it, Kinako, on a golden plate. And then we have her fluffy tail, which they have given a lot of structure, which is really, really nice. It drapes over her leg in a very good position. It doesn't make her wobble when she sits. She's very securely when she sits. And then we have her amazing big head. It's a very big head with very nicely sculpted hair, a lot of single strands, good shading, and her cute ears have no seam lines and a fluffy interior. They are done stunningly, just amazing. I, I love those ears. And then we have her front bang. There you can see a seam line because you can exchange her face plates. She has two different ones, one where she's holding the fish and looking to the side. The other one is more of a cutesy expression with the cat mouth, but personally I prefer the one where she holds the fish because the other one makes her look like a little bit derpy and I personally prefer this one, it's so cute. Something that's surprising is that she also has human ears, very small ones, but she has. And actually this figure is supposed to be, supposed to be a human characterization of the artist Portihara who has a cat and that's her cat as a human so it's kind of surprising that she has human ears would have worked better without it I think because why double ears no one needs double ears anyway coming back to her face she has very big turquoise colored eyes the decals are very cute she has a slight blush on her face and some highlights and her nose is very cutely pretty overall she's a 9 out of 10 because of these small issues with her feet sees and now I ripped out her angle and she also comes with another cat toy which is also adorable and overall I'm very happy with the quality of this figure and I just can recommend her she is very big I have no idea how big she's in she's supposed to be in real life but I love this figure and I just can't recommend her and she's so cheap right now so get her. I wish I had waited more but I didn't expect her to fall down in price so so much. And yeah I will have to glue this back in after I finish filming this because this sucks so you better don't pull too much on this handle or it will fall off. And the last cat merch before we go to the kitsune merch that i got are two nendoret face cases of these kitty halloween ghost typies i have no idea how they're called they are just freaking adorable a black one Ooh, there's a little bit dust on it a black one and a white one and they are very nice to store your extra nendoroid faces in it yeah it felt so cute i had to have them they have a little tail at their back and their little ears and the cute little faces and hands and they're one of the cutest ones so moving on to the kitsune merch that i got i got a little how to call it it's a kitsune marriage blind box set and I absolutely fell in love with it because it has a Tori gate, it has the two boxes and a Japanese wedding attire. They look absolutely stunning and with this box set you get four types. You get each female, one in white and one in a luminescent paint and the same for the male. It, it's super adorable i love the red tori gate and so more like i display this red tori gate with the actual painted figures i don't necessarily need the luminescent versions of them they don't even look that great when you take a look at it but yeah otherwise i'm happy to have this it's so cute very beautiful set and now we're already coming to the last item of this haul this part two video and it's the Okan Tsuki chan figure a one seven scale by wing and this is the figure i was talking about where i will put the little mushrooms on the base because this base is as plain as hell 
it's just a clear plastic disc, nothing on it, nothing spectacular. She's sold by two packs, one is metal and one is plastic. And overall, I'm so happy to finally have her. Just take a look at her. Her shoes are brown with golden details and some ruffles at the top. Then we have her amazingly sculpted legs. Again, some small details and some good shadings on the right spots. We got some interesting plumas, a very fluffy and ruffled skirt, which has some very nice shading. The white spots have some purple in it and on top of it we have this very deep red and brown highlights with some holes even in the overlay skirt which they have painted on some stitches they are also molded into the figure with some dark paint highlight they are highlighted with some dark paints we have a golden trim which is done beautifully we have no bleeding here at the back of her skirt we have this massive red bow you can't see much of it because of the hood that she's wearing over, uh, over it but her skirt is held with a middle section with a brown leather structure i think then we have her very beautiful hood that flares out like wind is blowing through again in the same red color with the white purplish frills on the side and a lilac violet colored bow at the back of her neck in front the hood is pulled together with a little claps which has some golden highlights her hood is over her head pushing all her hair in front of her face which looks stunning then we have a black bow at the top of her hood also more golden applications especially on the holes where her ears come out she has some wolf ears kind of they are really fluffy and a lot of plush in them and sadly not so much shading different shading into the different sculptures which i would have liked it would have turned out so amazing in contrast to her cape and skirt which has these deeper colors in all the folds and sculpted creases which are done very beautiful in my eyes her hair has some darker tips also we have two braided hair strands which also have a black bow at the end of it and then we have her very cute face with a very nice blush her lilac colored eyes which also has a gray in it and a very subtle smile if you look from her profile you can really see her nose and she's holding something in her hand which you can't oversee and it's a very cute wolf plush that you have to put yourself into her hands so she doesn't come assembled with it making giving you a good look at the front of her dress without the plush and it's pretty easy to put it in you can also see her fingers which have a white nail polish especially her left hand is very nicely sculpted the right one is a bit more close together but all the fingers are very nicely separated they are not a clustered mess and i give them credits for that because you can't really see it the same with her little gloves her brown gloves you can't see them because the plush is over it all the time coming to the plush it has some obviously the lines where it is sewed together we have the sew line which they have sculpted she ha it has these very cute button eyes they have done it it has even some cloth and overall the shading on the plush uh, everything is very very adorable i love this plush it's so so cute we have a gradient in it and it's fantastic she gets a 9 out of 10 and the one critic i really have is a little bit her hair could have been separated better and the plain base is a nightmare the same can be said with the shoes they also that could have been improved these are just small little details but otherwise she's stunning i'm so happy to have her and it's very good for my fairy tale shrine which i'm hopefully someday are building she's one addition 
because I really love the fairy tale of Little Red Riding Hood. I don't know why she has these wolf ears, but no wolf tail. Would have liked the tail, but it's fine, it's fine. She's cute, she's amazing. Wing did an amazing job, except for the base. <laughs> but I can make a custom day. And with that, we have everything for video 2. Stay tuned for the next one, which will be only viewable for people over 18. It will be a Mattel special, so it will be loot. I want to show the figures in their whole glory. So it's on the looter side. So make sure that you are subscribed to me and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss this next video or just check out my site so that you don't miss the next video. I hope you like this haul and I will catch you in my next haul and thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I appreciate everything you give me, every like and comment. I really love to read what you are writing to me and I wish you a great day, night, evening, morning, whenever you are watching and I will catch you in the next one. Until then, bye bye.